Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Whispered World. When we last left off, we were about to actually launch ourselves out of a tree cannon. Come on, Spot. Show your stuff. Oh, dear. Now, let's get out of here, quick. Up the ladder. Uh, normal. And we're going to quickly use the hat. On the hole. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, you don't seem very Quick, enthusiastic. Spot. Come here. There it goes. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. dear. Um... You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> well, that worked. Did it? We could be dead. No, it would seem not. Together with the last rays of the sun bathing the sky above the lake in autumnal red, Sadwick floated towards the island. A peculiar fatigue overwhelmed him in the cold air of the night closing in. Oh dear. <gasps> Great. We're back here. Sadwick! What? Where am I? Oh no, not that dream again. Have I fallen asleep? You have never been more awake than now. What do you mean? What do you want from me? I want you to fulfill your destiny. This world must be destroyed by your own hand. I would definitely not do that. Never, do you hear me? If you do, you will perish together with this world. No, you're lying. This is all just a dream. I want it to stop. I want to wake up. Yes, Sadwick. It is time. Wake up. Well, chapter two indeed. Ouch. Oh dear, Spot. What? Oh, that's not Spot. Where am I? Obviously, I've already landed on the island. Without breaking my neck, mm, it must have been a very boring landing. I slept right through it. What time might it be? Hey! You! Hello, Hello my little friend. What kind of a costume is this? Would you happen to be a clown? I'm a carny. In other words, a clown. Yes. What brings a clown like you to such a joyless place? Oh. I have to find Kalida. I have to find Kalida. Kalida? Well, you have found her. Well, what do you mean? Are you Kalida? No. Me? <laughs> no, but... I am a part of Kalida. I don't understand a word. You don't always have to understand everything to act in the right way. Do you really have to speak in riddles? I need help desperately. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. Doesn't everyone have to do that? One type of person does that by taking action, others by remaining inactive. Ah. Uh, Yes, uh, maybe. But I really have to do it. Not in a metaphorical, wishy-washy kind of way. I need to get to Corona. I've got to get to Corona. To the King's Castle. No matter where you came from, you've taken the wrong turn. There is no road leading away from this island. So Shana sent me into a dead end? <sighs> I see you are full of concern, little man. I wish you good luck on your quest. It's dangerous to wake Kalida. Perhaps she will eventually help you to leave the island. But consider that you yourself are a part of her as long as you stay here. What? Lovely. Hey! Wait! What do you mean by all of that? Hello? Oh dear. I've got a bad feeling that the search for Kalida could take quite a while. Lovely. Let's look at our inventory. It's completely empty. 
There are some bubbles here, though. I've been looking at them all the way through that cutscene. What kind of strange bubbles are those? Are there hot springs here or something? We could head Spot to go have a look, couldn't we? Maybe that'll work. Go, Spot. You could swim back and get help. Come on, what are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> no, no, it does not look like that's happening. There's a statue, though. There's an engraving. Kalita has her ears in the water. Huh? What? I like candlelight. It reminds me of my mother's grave. Oh, that's so sad. I like it. That's very sad. Well, let's go into the next area. Doesn't appear to be anything else here. Oh. There's a village. That's something, I guess. A broken shovel. Hey, there's my shovel. It didn't survive the flight. The handle's broken off. Ooh. That could have been my spine. Could have been, but it wasn't. We'll take that. What else do we have here? Rope! I wonder if the rope bridge will remain stable if I take one of those. Of course it will. Of course it will, Sadwick. Nope. No chance. The rope is knotted tightly. I won't achieve anything without proper equipment. Could I use the shovel head on this? The shovel's edge is too dull to cut through the rope. I need something sharper. Uh oh. Well, there's not much else I can do there. I like it. Let's go over the bridge. To the village! There's a lot of candles. A lot of candles. Oh, there's a bell. How am I supposed to ring that bell? The bell rope is missing. I imagine I'm going to be using the bell, the rope, to ring that bell. But I actually need to get there first. There's a door. I wonder if that's where Kalida lives. Unlikely, considering how many riddles that man spoke in. Hmm. Locked. Great. We can't get in there. Can I take a candle? I'd better leave it here. It reminds me of my mother's grave. No. Oh. No candles for us. No candles for us. There is something over here, though. Oh. A display. The display is turned off. I can't make any sense of it. Except, perhaps, that any further inquiry is a waste of time. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sadwick. Anything else in- There's flint? Look at that. This flint has a very sharp edge. Is it coming useful later, maybe? Definitely. We could use that to cut the rope. Definitely use that to cut the rope. That's some adventure game logic for you there. Let's go back and do that right now. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Ben and Grandpa are actually concerned about Sadwick at this point. Probably. Probably very concerned. But there's not much we can do about that. Let's get this flint. Ooh, whoops. And cut the rope with the flint. Does it work? The <laughs> flint is sharp enough. If I'm unlucky, the whole bridge will collapse. Mm -hmm. But what have I got to lose? Nothing. Just a life of misery and disgrace. Uh -oh. Well, that worked. Can we now use the rope on the bell? Hmm, that's a good idea. But how am I supposed to attach the rope up there? Spot could do it. Hey, Spot, can you bite through the rope for me? Don't get fresh with me. A simple no would have sufficed. Uh oh. Fine. So I can't actually get it up there yet. How am I going to attach it? That's a good point. Use the door, maybe? Is that going to work? No. All that's missing is the key. Nothing else. Hmm. Okay. But we do have the rope. That's always a plus. <laughs> we can head up this way. Is there a house up here? There is a house up here. 
Oh, I can enter this one. I imagine that's where that monk. Hello. Hmm. What? Who? A clown? What are you doing here? My name is Sadwick. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But don't waste your time. You won't be able to boost my spirits anyway. Oh, who are you? Who are you? My name is... Uh... Uh, my name is Bondo. What? Bondo. Come again? Bondo. Bondo. Waldo? Bondo! <laughs> my name is Bondo! Holy mackerel! I am Bondo! He's smiling! Bondo! How often did I tell you to keep it down? Ah, uh, look what you've done now. We woke the boss. Ah, uh, he's sure to punish me for that. Why are you so unhappy? Why are you so unhappy? Does the impending end of the world bother you too? The thought that all could soon be over? No. Oh, no. That's something for others to ponder. I don't care if the end is coming. On this island, we're done for anyway. You see, there's nothing to do anymore. <sighs> Isn't there? What do you mean, there's nothing to do anymore? It's been quiet here since the boss closed the factory. The factory? Pearls used to be pressed here, but the production has been discontinued. I see. Why? Why is that? Well, the boss met his goal, 10,000 pearls. And now, he's afraid of losing everything. What he fears most is that someone could wake Kalida. He's really paranoid. Awesome. I can't make the slightest sound anymore. <sighs> it used to be different. I was allowed to do the most thrilling jobs. I used to blow the foghorn in the house of the howls. And come noon, I was allowed to ring the bell, which sounded all over the entire island. Mm. But the most thrilling job was the work in the factory. Hot air thick smoke and the noise of massive machinery drowning everything out warm kaboom <laughs> bando what's going on down there be quiet will you or do you want kalita to wake up oh 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 dear you see what i mean uh the good old days are over <sighs> ah well well this sounds depressing Who's the boss here? That would be Reuben. He owns this island. Oh. You can find him in the house on the hilltop. On the hilltop? Yeah, way up. Phew. Hey, hey, little man. I thought you wanted to save the world. True. You'll have to get off your backside for that, you know. Yes, yes, all right. No sweet without sweat, right? That's right. It will pay off in the end. <sighs> pay off? It doesn't exactly look that way now. More like the opposite. Every step I take brings me nearer to the end. There's also the fear that my dream could come true. That the ground collapses and the world crumbles right under my feet. Positive thoughts? Um... At the hilltop, you said? Yeah. Way up. Great. <laughs> Thanks. You're always a positive man. I'm looking for Kalida. Who are you looking for? Kalida? <laughs> You're a real clown, aren't you? Why? What's strange about that? No, wait. Let me guess. Kalida is dead, or she never existed. <laughs> no. Kalida exists all right, but you'd better leave her alone. Why? So where can I find Kalida? I already told you. Leave her alone. It'd be best if you didn't make any noise, so you don't wake her up. I'm not supposed to do what? Wake her up? So she's grumpy in the morning? <laughs> so what? What's the big deal? Will she throw her pillows and complain about the coffee? Right. Or she could change into her full height and lay destruction upon the village. Oh. Uh... Just believe me. You don't want to wake Kalida. Excellent. Mm, I'm beginning to wonder myself. I have to find Kalida. 
The world will collapse if I don't. Uh, do whatever you want, but I'm not helping you. Uh, I don't want any trouble, and I don't want to be blamed when disaster strikes us. Uh, just a moment. I don't want that either. So you better let her sleep. Is there another way to leave? Is there another way to leave this island? I'm afraid not, but relax. We have all we need here. Except company, of course. Uh, that's right. Uh, there aren't many people living on the island. And the lust for life? Uh, is somewhat limited. The freedom to go wherever you want? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We might not have all we need, but we have everything else. About those former jobs of yours? Uh, about those former jobs of yours. Ah, the good old days. What do you want to know? What was it about the House of Howls? What was that about the House of the Howls? Ah, those were the days. Every time big boats came to the island, I was allowed to sound the big horn. Church! To get church. shouted at. Bando watches over this lake. His call sounds as far as Corona. Toot! Toot, 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 toot! Bando! How often do I have to tell you? Be quiet, will you? <sighs> well, those days are over now. What about the half What about the bell? What was that about the bell again? Ah, those were the days. I used to run to the entrance of the village every noon to sound the bell for lunch. The sound traveled all over the lake. Dong! 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 Listen here, inhabitants of the lake! Bando tells you that it's time for lunch. Put away your worldly chores. It's time to eat now. Smart, dong, right? dong, dong, dong. Bando! One more disturbance and I'll go nuts. <sighs> Those days are long gone. They do certainly seem it. I could talk about the factory and get him into serious trouble. What was that about the factory again? Ah, those were the days. Were they now? I had the fastest shovel on this side of the autumn forest. What I liked best was to shovel coal in the heat of the furnace. Above me, the ear-deafening noise of the pearl press. Wham! Boom! Look here! Mother Nature, your masterpiece is being surpassed by the power of muscles and machinery. Brando, I'm warning you. <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. Oh, can't you learn something different? Couldn't you learn something different? Hmm? Something different? Mm, sounds exciting. What do you propose? Oh god, there are a lot of options here. You could become a drummer. You could become a drummer. Hmm? Drummer? I bet I'd be a great gonna drummer. Make sounds I could you. play the barrel drum in an orchestra. I'd be louder than anyone <laughs> else! Goes. And the cello players would get to feel my drumstick. The audience would go crazy! Bando! You're gonna get shouted at. Bando! I can hear them holler! Even now, Bando! Bando! Be quiet already! Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'd better skip that. I don't think Reuben would approve. What about a road constructor? You could go into road construction. That's not a bad idea. The streets here could use a makeover. And who could do the job better Indeed. than I? Cobblestone after cobblestone would have to be pounded oh no, into the soil. Sounds. Wham! Wham! Listen here, oh world! This island will soon have a new road! And after the road is finished, There'll be a bridge to build. And after the bridge, a tunnel directly to Corona! I'm getting shouted at. And finally, 
a master of road construction, will rule again! Hooray to Vondel, oh the master of road construction! Bando. Hip, hip, hooray! Bando, I'm about to lose my patience with you! Oh, oh, oh. my fantasies just got the better of me. Okay, what about a market crier? You could shout some more! You could be a market crier. Market crier? Wow, I always wanted to be a market crier as a child. I would run through the village with a full basket of pears and cry, Apples! Apples! <laughs> I don't even know why. I mean, they were pears <laughs> after all. But I didn't care. Apples! I'd cry. Buy from Bundle! From Bundle, the Daredevil Market Crier! Apples! Apples! Exploding? Bondo's exploding apples! Bando! I'm fed up with your noise! Uh, oh dear. I should stick to my limitations. Oh, and it always goes so sad afterwards. What about... You could be in the opera. You could be in the opera. Well, why not? I've got the looks and the talent. Women would fall at my feet and men would envy they me. Would. I'd break glass after glass with my voice. Whoa! Shatter! Sunglasses, water glasses. I'd even shatter the dome of the firmament itself. Whoa! Mando, do I always have to get mad first? Hmm, Philistine. <laughs> Indeed. What about circus idea? You could open a circus. I don't know about that. I mean, look at your rags. I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of all the people. You don't? You wouldn't have to be the clown. Hmm. That's right. I could be in the lion taming act. The <laughs> lion tamer would have a hard time taming me. <laughs> oh, Bando! One more sound, and you'll be confined to your chamber! What on earth is going on down there? Nothing, Ruben! Roar. Roar. Oh, I'm running out of ideas. I'm running out of ideas. Don't take it too hard. I had already given up hope. Oh, yes, man. that's the effect I often <laughs> have on people. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll see you later. See you later. Yeah, later. But... Please keep in mind, be nice and quiet. What like I... me, I bundle. Be quiet down there. <sighs> Why do I get the feeling, before I end the video, that my objective on this island is in fact not to be quiet and is to make a lot of noise? When we come back, folks, let's start making some noise. Catch you later. See you then. Later.